I'm here with James Sainsbury, who is one of the personalities of the Moth Fleet and a prolific home builder. And at this championship's going in, you have put a checklist on the side of your boat with some of the different designs. Hoping to tick them all off? Uh, yeah, totally. So for the Worlds, we're going uh, to tick them all off uh, and play a bit of uh, moth manufacturing bingo. Which one do you think is going to be first on your checklist? <laughs> oh, it's got to be an exploder. I hear they're pretty slow at the moment. Are you going to be counting boats which you beat on, just the ones you beat on the water, or also boats that don't make it around the course? No, it's just going to be the ones that actually finish. Excellent stuff. Now, with this new boat, how, how's practice been going? Uh, practice been okay. Um, I've got a couple of nice windy sessions in before uh, we came here, but to be honest, it's been pretty light up in the Midlands, so there's not been a, a huge amount of practice time, so it's been more about boat bimbling than anything else. And with this one, this really was just designed on a napkin and you decided a week later you were building it? Uh, yeah, so after last year's nationals, I uh, decided on the way home I was going to build something and pretty much by the time we'd got home I had the, the concept in my head uh, and before I went to bed I drew it down on a scrap of paper and uh, started ringing around people to get the materials. And the build itself was remarkably quick. Yeah, five weeks. Um, five weeks of lots of blood, sweat, beers and tears um, and not a lot of sleep. We were finishing it off the day before the Europeans, so it was good fun. Well, James, best of luck ticking off that list. Thank you very much. Cheers.